Hey guys, just doing a quick um, quote unquote unboxing. Um, I have the item in question. Uh, I have yet to open up the packaging to see the product inside. I've opened up the package from the post box or whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, I've been waiting. I've had it on my table uh, overnight and I've been waiting to do a video. So I've been I got home, I was super tired last night, and I just couldn't uh, film a video, so I'm doing it this morning. So here is the packaging. Oh, yeah. yeah this, this is a Benchmade, a bone collector. I've been very excited about this knife, and uh, I used a little bit of money from my knife sale to get it, and um, just calling this my quote-unquote birthday present to myself even though my birthday is until the end of the month or end of October but uh, I just couldn't wait so here it is here's the model 15030-1 bone collector axis this probably means nothing to most people so I'll open up the box of course it's in its bag, which user manual. Now a lot of people think bench mains are too expensive. I agree that most of them are pretty expensive, but from my experience with my mini griptilian, which is a relatively wickedly priced knife, uh, is worth the money. The quality is just outstanding. Like you honestly you really can't beat the quality. Um, the fit and finish is incredible and it's just an outstanding product. My mini grip has been my go-to knives ever since I got it and it just it, it you know I put the hurt on it, dropped it, abused it and it's still you know factory condition. It's uh, the only thing I don't like about Benchmades are the uh, 15 degree edge they put on there and the very shallow bevel, which is easily fixable. Alright. Oh yeah, wow. Very nice. Let's get this guy off of here. And what we got here is the green and black G10 Bone Collector Mini Grip. Oh, that's a little tight. Do that just a notch. That's a thick blade. Oh, that is perfect. That is a, this is an outstanding knife. Wow. Great finish on the blade too. Pretty sharp. The reason why I went with this knife is I didn't want a large griptilian or the large version of this because I was looking at size comparisons and I really like the mini grip. Um, but I find the handle just a tad short. Not that this is such a small hit on the knife, but I, I love the mini grip. But this handle was just a little bit longer, and, and the shape looked like it would fill my hand perfectly, and you'd get that be able to get your pinky on that last that last portion of the handle, which I can. So it's exactly what I thought it would feel like. And man, it's a great great knife. Just has a nice finish. You got the Bone Collector logo on the blade. Bench made there. And the other Bone Collector logo on the other side. It's almost got a uh, stonewash finish to it. You can see the little flex there. But you can see all the lines in the metal there. That, those are really. Um, pronounced in person. And it doesn't have as shallow of a bevel as I thought it would. It's actually a little higher. That's nice. And 
That's sharp. That's very sharp. This is a great knife. Nice. The weight is good on it too. It's got milled out liners. Heavily milled out liners too. A little bit of jimping here. Not really. It doesn't really do anything. It's more rounded than anything. Same on the back. But it's a nice grip and you can put your thumb here on the uh, the spine of the blade. Oh, look at that thick blade. Let's get out of the Delica compare. It's quite a bit thicker. Nice. I'm going to EDC this knife today. i got to adjust that. It's pretty tough. Alright guys, so that's uh, my new knife. So look forward to um, some vids on it and some reviews and all sorts of fun stuff. I like the pocket clip too. Nice. Alright guys, <laughs> sorry I'm just kind of admiring the knife here. But uh, that's all I got, so take care, and I uh, will talk to you guys soon. Bye.